There are times when it pays to make yourself scarce, and van cleaning time is one of those moments. So I've given a pass to go out and walk around for a couple of hours with the camera. I set off to catch the tram and go into Alicante. Now this tram runs along the coast of the Costa Blanca, between Alicante and Benidorm. And normally Poppy would come with me, but sadly on this tram, dogs are only permitted inside a small cage or basket, which is not something we had, so Billy no makes it is. But as the tram pulls into the station, it reminds me of how good Spanish public transport is and how much we've relied upon it over the years. We don't tow a car, and with the exception of electric scooters, don't have any other form of transport. But we've used trams all over Europe and have never ever let us down, and trains for that matter, and buses. But this tram today was on time, clean, efficient, and inexpensive, costing €4.80 Euros 80 return. The ride to Alicante takes 50 minutes, and it was clean, and the absence of antisocial behaviour made it a really attractive means of transport. There are many routes down to the seafront to Alicante, but the best is down the Calle de la Cerita Street, or Mushroom Street, for obvious reasons. It's not called Mushroom Street. The locals refer to it as that too. It's actually called San Francisco Street. Once through Mushroom Street, you head down the Marvel Promenade towards the harbour. One of the good ways of seeing this beautiful place is to go on the Segway Tour and it takes you all around the city and it's really quite enjoyable. It's also on this promenade where preparations are being made for the Christmas period with effigies of the Three Kings uh, being erected. The pier and the modern walkway are a delight to walk around and it takes you to the Ocean Race Museum which is free to enter and tells the story of the round the world yacht race that's been running and starts in Alicante. The Ocean Race Museum is an interactive exhibition that opened in 2012 with the aim of sharing the rich heritage of the, city, of the history of the race as well as the city's association with it. The visit is free and includes race control where the boats are monitored during the competition. An innovation centre of technology using the latest satellite communication is also there to be viewed. Since 2008, Alicante has been the start point of the race and the city also will host the start of the next two races. As you leave the museum, the winner's board is on display with the pictures and faces of all the subsequent uh, winners of the race since it started. Um, as you can see, unwashed, lots of beard and uh, no doubt, <laughs> ready for a rest by the time they get to the end of the, of the race itself. You leave by the shop of course, as all museums do, uh, where there's quite some good but quite expensive yacht wearing gear for sale. Alicante Harbour today is stocked with millionaire yachts, cruise liners and cargo vessels. But its most famous moment really was in the Spanish Civil War, where it's the last redoubt of the Republican forces. The rem remnants of the fighting uh, groups from across the seas, the international brigades and the Republican leaders all left by boat. But that was in March 1939, and as they left and looked over the shoulder, they'd have seen the castle of Santa Barbara in Alicante towering above them. Today you can go and look around the castle, it's still there, and it's quite um, an interesting place to be. So there's lots of, of artefacts about the history of uh, Alicante as a region, both uh, through uh, modern and ancient times so seven euros to get in and then a long tunnel walk under the uh, rock itself towards a lift that'll take you to the top we have previously walked it we are having time today When you come out the top, you're into what is the remnants of the castle. Some of it's been modernised. They've done a really nice job. A lot of tapestries, flags, telling the story and history of the castle. It's quite a nice place. There's a, some more walking to do. You have to go further uphill, up the steps, and it winds its way to the top of the castle and the fantastic vantage point that awaits you. This is Alicante. 
and it brings home to you, which I've known for a while, that most Spanish people live in high-rise buildings and flatlets. And that's got its throwbacks to the Civil War when everything was destroyed and housing was needed quickly and in great numbers. But it's still a model for today. And so when you're on your campsite and the Spanish arrive for the weekend with the families, that's what they're doing. They're coming to camp. They're getting away from the metropolis, from the high-rise buildings, and they're going to breathe the fresh air, let the children run and, uh, and enjoy it. And who could deny them that? After spending an hour on top admiring the views, time to get some refreshment and think about catching the train or the tram back down towards where we were staying. So it's back down the steps of this modern station. I should have said really that um, when you get to Benidorm on this tram, you have to change and pick up a train that takes you to Denia and Calpe. There is a change there. But from Alicante here, you can get all the way around Calpe to Denia. Um, and it's really easy to transfer, in fact, to hold the tram and the train so that you can walk off one and get on another. There's also uh, the ability to purchase tickets on the train itself by a cash machine or a ticket machine. There are ticket booths that are both manned and there's also automatic ticket dispensers available. Four, pound, four euros 80, as I say, was the round trip uh, to Villa Hayosa, which is a couple of stops away from Benidorm. And one of the reasons why I've been out on my own today and Helen's cleaning the van is we're moving off tomorrow. So next, the next video that uh, you see from us will be from one of our favourite cities of Mercia. Uh, it's quite an incredible place. We're looking forward to going there. Never been there in this format before in the sense we're going to stay in and air in the city itself. Previously, we've stayed out of the city and travelled in by train, which has been quite convenient, to be fair. And another example of us using public transport effectively and use a rural service, pay the conductor on the train, done that three or four times to great effect and um, be something we would recommend and do again. But we're going to try something different next, so I hope you'll join us in the next video. So we'll see you in Mercia. Martin out. <laughs>